hate Jesus. <laughs> From the best news headquarters in the world, this is Breaking News, a recap. And may all your Christmas. Oh, <laughs> hello. I didn't see you there. I was just reading my book under my blanket on this lovely snowy night. Sitting across from me enjoying his eggnog is Wesley New Farmer. That's right, Jessica. It is lovely. Good evening and welcome to Breaking News, a Christmas special. I'm Wesley New Farmer and this is Jessica Pratt. Yeah, I just... Um, <clears throat> Tonight we'll take you through our favourite Christmas reports of years gone by. This is always a time of love and joy, so we can't help but take a trip down memory lane. Let's start with this. News just in, a woman has given birth to a baby in an animal stable in Bethlehem. No word yet on the father's whereabouts. That's right, Wesley. It appears the man claiming to be her husband is in some serious hot water after not booking a room at the inn ahead of time. I wonder what happened to that kid. I don't want to ruin it for you, but he dies in the end. And who can forget the longest running literary con job in history? Charles Dickens has released a new novel entitled A Christmas Carol. It is about a grumpy employer who is visited by three ghosts on Christmas Eve. The ghost of Christmas past, present, and future. Doesn't sound like a memorable story that will stand the test of time at all. Better go get a real job, Charles. Well, it's 1935's holiday season and the premiere of Scrooge, an adaptation of Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol, opened tonight to rave reviews. Not bad for a book that wouldn't stand the test of time. <laughs> the first US produced version of A Christmas Carol was released today in the US. Surely now the public will have had enough of this tired work of drivel. You think they would, Wesley, but they hadn't. A Christmas Carol opened today. Scrooge! Scrooge, a musical version of the Dickens Christmas Carol, has come about to bring the 70s in. Mickey's Christmas Carol. Scrooge, starring Bill Murray, has just been released at the cinema. A Muppet Christmas Carol, what a great way to bring in the 90s. A Christmas Carol. Time for one of my favorites, a story about American exceptionalism. News just in, General George Washington has taken advantage of the heavy Christmas festivities by the Redcoats and has led 2,400 troops across the Delaware River into New Jersey to launch a surprise attack. Oh, we have some breaking news here. It seems George Washington underestimated how many troops he would need to hold the city of Trenton and has taken himself, his army, and 1,000 prisoners back across the Delaware. While completely inconvenient, Washington can take solace in the fact that he's gone over and above his step counter for the day. Ah, uh, those were the days. We have a very special guest with us tonight. Here to regale us with her favorite Christmas memories is our very own Kieran Hillier. One of the warmest memories I have is when you two <laughs> pretended to forget to get me a present. And I must apologize, but I was unaware we were doing a secret Santa. Was there a memo I missed or something? Actually, Karen, Wesley, and I chipped in and we got you a present together, didn't we? Let's yes, see. yes. Um, fruit cake frappuccino from Starbucks. Merry Christmas. Brilliant, thanks guys. So, what did you get me this year? Um, this year we, we donated, donated to charity in your name. name. We, we donated, donated to, to a charity in your name. name. Oh great, that's so me. <laughs> Yes, we bought you a star. star. Yes, we named a star after you. Oh, guys, which one? Uh, why don't you go outside and try and find oh. it? Oh boy. <laughs> Speaking of stars, remember back in the 60s when this event took place? The Apollo 8 astronauts have spent this Christmas Eve orbiting the moon and been part of a television broadcast where they read the opening lines of the book of Genesis. They ended by saying Merry Christmas and God bless all of you, all of you on the good earth. Once the broadcast was over they clinked pumpkin spice lattes and settled in for a viewing of Love Actually. Well that's all the time we have for this breaking news of Christmas special. If you liked our show, please share amongst your friends. If you didn't, maybe this will help. Join us next year for more news a few days after it actually happens. God bless us, everyone. You know, that's from Dickens. You don't waste the fuck. Where did you get snow from? Guys, I can't find it. Uh.
Uh, keep looking. 